In this video, we'll explore the scariest accidents and tragedies in the history of space exploration. Let's begin the video with the first ever fatality in spaceflight history, a tragedy that sent shockwaves through the space exploration community. This is the story of Soyuz 1. In 1967, Soviet cosmonaut Vladimir Komarov boarded the Soyuz 1 spacecraft, despite over 200 known technical flaws. Shortly after launch, the mission faced disaster. Navigation systems malfunctioned, and Komarov was left stranded in space, fighting to regain control. What you're seeing now is an animation of what happened during re-entry. One of the parachutes failed to open completely and became tangled with the other, causing the spacecraft to plummet to the ground at fatal speeds. Here's the real footage of Soyuz 1 plummeting back to Earth, a chilling sight that captures the spacecraft's final moments. With the parachutes failing, there was no way to slow its descent, and it hurtled toward the ground at an unimaginable speed. Komarov became the first human to die during spaceflight, marking one of the darkest moments in space exploration history. The Apollo 1 disaster was a heartbreaking tragedy that occurred on January 27, 1967, during a routine pre-flight test. Astronauts Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger B. Chaffee were inside the Apollo command module, preparing for what was to be the first crewed mission of the Apollo program. During the test, a spark ignited a fire in the pure oxygen environment of the cabin. Within seconds, the flames engulfed the spacecraft, leaving the crew with no chance of escape. The highly pressurized and oxygen-rich atmosphere caused the fire to spread rapidly, and the astronauts succumbed to smoke inhalation before rescuers could reach them. What makes this disaster even more chilling is the existence of an audio recording from that day. I'll be playing it now so you can hear the harrowing reality of what happened. The Challenger disaster remains one of the most haunting moments in space exploration history. On January 28, 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger lifted off from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. On board were seven brave astronauts, Richard Scobie, Judith Resnick, Ronald McNair, Michael Smith, Krista McAuliffe, Ellison Onizuka, and Gregory Jarvis. This mission was special. There was a teacher on board, Krista McAuliffe, who had been selected from thousands of applicants to be the first civilian in space. As part of NASA's Teacher in Space program, Krista was set to teach lessons and conduct experiments from orbit, sparking curiosity and excitement among students and educators around the world. Her presence symbolized a bridge between space exploration and everyday people, inspiring a new generation of dreamers to look to the stars. Maybe just a little bit of, of fright too? Not yet. Um, maybe when I'm strapped in and those rockets are going off underneath me, there will be, but space flight today really seems safe. Um, Hundreds of thousands of children watched the launch live, gathered in classrooms, at home, and even on site, their eyes filled with anticipation as they waited for the rocket to take flight. Everything was going great. However, just 73 seconds into the flight, disaster struck. The shuttle exploded in mid-air, killing all seven crew members on board. The cause of the explosion was traced to a failure in one of the solid rocket boosters. The O-ring seal, a critical component designed to prevent hot gases from escaping, had failed due to unusually cold temperatures on the morning of the launch. The escaping gases ignited the external fuel tank, resulting in the catastrophic explosion. This tragedy was a harsh reminder of the risks of space exploration and how small oversights can lead to devastating consequences. 
It deeply impacted NASA and led to significant changes in their safety protocols, ensuring that such a disaster would never happen again. The Columbia disaster is another dark chapter in the history of space exploration. On February 1, 2003, Space Shuttle Columbia was re-entering Earth's atmosphere after completing a 16-day mission. On board were seven astronauts, returning home after a successful scientific expedition. The mission seemed routine, but unknown to the crew, disaster had already been set in motion during the launch. A piece of foam insulation had broken off from the shuttle's external fuel tank, striking the left wing and damaging its thermal protection system, the heat shield critical for surviving re-entry. There's a recording of the last words ever heard from the crew before the shuttle disintegrated. Let's listen to their final moments. And Columbia Houston, we see your tire pressure messages and we did not copy your last. Roger. And then silence. As Columbia descended at hypersonic speeds, superheated atmospheric gases entered the breach in the wing, causing the shuttle to lose structural integrity. Just 16 minutes before it was scheduled to land, the shuttle disintegrated over Texas. Tragically, all seven astronauts on board lost their lives. This heartbreaking event shocked the world and served as a stark reminder of the risks of spaceflight. The real footage of Columbia breaking apart during re-entry is haunting, a visual testament to the unforgiving nature of space exploration. Before continuing with the video, I want to give a huge shout out to everyone who has joined the Astro Knowledge Discord server. If you're not in yet, you're missing out. In the server, you can chat directly with me and other space enthusiasts, share your video suggestions, get instant notifications when new videos drop, and so much more. Oh, and here's something really cool. There's a rank up system where you earn XP just by chatting. The more you interact, the higher your rank, and higher ranks come with better perks. Here's a look at the current leaderboard for the top 10 chatters. Think you've got what it takes to climb to the top? Join the community and start earning your spot today. The link will be in the description. Back to the video. The Nedeline catastrophe, one of the deadliest incidents in the history of space exploration, occurred on October 24, 1960, at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. This disaster was the result of a rushed effort to test the Soviet Union's R-16 intercontinental ballistic missile, which was a key part of their space race ambitions. Under immense pressure to meet tight deadlines, engineers and officials ignored critical safety protocols. While fueling the rocket during the final stages of preparation, an electrical fault triggered the second stage engine to ignite prematurely. The rocket was still on the launch pad, surrounded by over 250 personnel. The resulting explosion caused a massive fireball that engulfed the launch site. This footage was captured by a remote camera, activated by an operator stationed safely away from the site. Tragically, 74 people were confirmed dead, though unofficial estimates suggest the death toll was much higher. Survivors described the scene as apocalyptic, with flames, debris, and chaos everywhere. 